Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at some features that were removed from the New Horizons game before it was actually released. It's going to be a fun one, so without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So just last week, Nintendo and some of the Animal Crossing New Horizons developers held a lecture at the CEDEC Video Games Conference in Japan and spoke about their approach to innovating whilst maintaining tradition when developing New Horizons. Now the presentation included a bunch of screenshots that gave insight into various aspects of the game from how the grass patterns are incorporated based on previous installments of the game to changes made to the villages to make them even more charming than they already were. Now thanks to this presentation we also got to see some early screenshots of a beta version of New Horizons for the very first time that were likely taken mid development and these gave us a few clues to some of the features that never made it into the final public release of the game. So with this in mind I thought it would be fun to take a closer look at these screenshots mostly to see how far New Horizons has come since early development and break down four different features and details that were removed. Anyway. Be sure to leave a like on the video, it helps out so much, and let's get into it. Number 1. Growing Grass As you can see, this screenshot is clearly very early in the development of New Horizons. It's fairly dull and definitely lacks the level of detail we're already so used to seeing on things like the buildings. However, this was used during the presentation to discuss the growing of polygonal grass, which is very interesting. Of course, with it being a beta version or earlier, the lack of detail is to be expected. However, one feature that is very apparent is the detail shown in the grass and around the dirt areas seen in the very center of this image. Now, I'm not entirely sure if the dirt areas are some sort of grass deterioration, which is a mechanic from older games that wore away the grass the more often it was used, or an early version of the dirt path we now have in New Horizons. But if you look closely, you can see the grassy area looks very textured all the way around it and is made up of loads of tiny 3D vertical triangles. I'm guessing this was an experiment with art styles to see if they could make more realistic grass whilst maintaining a traditional look. Of course, despite the 3D-like grass, the classic grass triangle pattern is still visible underneath. Anyway, whether this was referring to growing grass over deteriorated areas or growing 3D looking grass, this feature never made it into the final release and as you know, we now have much plainer but aesthetically pleasing looking grass. Although a few protruding triangles can be seen around the bottoms of trees and on the riverbeds if you look close enough. But what do you think about this? Would you have preferred a more fluffy 3D style grass or are you happy with the direction they went? Let us know in the comments. Number 2. White Fences in this next screenshot revealed during the presentation, there's actually quite a lot going on. Most notably, it shows the gorgeous white picket fence placed around the player's house. As I'm sure you know, this is not the first time we've been teased with a simple white picket style fence, as it can be seen in various promotional artworks, including one of the original pre-release New Horizons gameplay trailers. Now, if we take a look at the beta screenshot, this white fence actually has an additional wooden texture effect which wasn't even shown in the early New Horizons gameplay. So at some point during the development, it really looked like they were considering making white fences available within the game. White fences have been seen in mainline Animal Crossing games as far back as the original and this beta fence is not too dissimilar to the one seen in Let's Go to the City, so it's a shame that a white version of this fence never made it into the final release. Number 3. Time and Date Moving on, if we take a look at the same beta screenshot, we can also see a very traditional Animal Crossing style clock in the bottom left corner. Of course, having the time and date on screen has always been a feature in Animal Crossing, so this is nothing unusual. Over the years, we've seen various clock designs ranging from basic circles with the time and date to an actual analog clock design on screen, which makes sense given the nature of Animal Crossing. Now, some of you may have already recognized the clock used in the beta screenshot is actually the same display from New Leaf, so it was clearly being used as a placeholder during the development of the game. But what is quite disappointing is that the New Horizons team dropped the quirky clock design in favor of a plain and minimal 
called text only time and date for New Horizons. I think I would have liked to have seen something like the traditional clock return. I always liked how the art style of it matched the game's logo. But what do you think? Do you prefer the modern minimal look? Let us know in the comments. Number 4. Pointy Cliffs So this next one comes from Chewy Plays Nintendo. You can find him on YouTube and Twitter. He's an excellent creator and hosts a wonderful Animal Crossing podcast. I highly recommend you check him out. Anyway, rather than the beta screenshots, Chewy spotted these pointy cliffs in the latest New Horizons trailer. As you can see here, these cliffs converge into a spike or a triangle shaped cliff. Of course, anyone who plays New Horizons will know this is an impossible design and usually when you get close to terraforming this kind of shape, the entire spike would be destroyed, leaving a straight cliff edge. Now, Chewy also mentioned that if you look closely, a cliff similar to this pointy design can also be seen on Harvey's Island, which again is very weird because it shows it's technically available in the game, it's just removed on main islands. Of course, it's not known if the New Horizons team ever intended to make this kind of cliff available on players' islands in the release build, but it certainly exists in beta versions of the game and outside of the playable area, which is very odd. So there we have it. That was four details that once existed in New Horizons, but were removed for whatever reasons from the public versions of New Horizons. But what do you think about these? Do you wish you could terraform spiky cliffs? Or do you know of any other beta features that have been removed, but weren't mentioned here? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, before we come to a close, we are expecting a full update any day now and will most likely get a new trailer very soon. And to be honest, I'm surprised we haven't had it already. But what kind of features do you think we'll see in the next update? There's already tons of rumors of Brewster and the post office and even new features like farming. So I'm pretty excited to hear what you all think. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, please comment fence. Just let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And please be sure to include if you hope to see fence customization in a future update. I'd love to know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.